This screencast is going to work through how to switch screens using Flash ActionScript AS3. Um, and the basic idea here, I'm going to delete this out, is that you have a couple of different screens. So in this case, I'm going to have an introduction screen. Uh, that is the introduction to my movie and then just this sort of like plain application screen. And the idea being uh, I want to be able to um, start out and get the introduction screen to pop out and they'll see that and they click begin and when they click begin the introduction screen will go away and the application screen will come out. Um, one of the key things to set the, setting this up uh, as you might be able to see already is that you put your screens as movie clips. So right now I have an introduction movie clip and this has a button here uh, which is a begin button this is my other movie clip uh, for the application and it has a close button it could probably it, you know could have other things right now I'm just doing these two simple buttons to flip back and forth between the application and the introduction screen but you can use the same technique to go between any number of screens that you might want to go to the first thing to do is to make a couple functions in your document class that show these screens. Uh, I have main as my document class and this is it here and so I'm gonna do this as functions. So uh, private, um, if I can spell right, function show intro. So um, what we're gonna do here is we want to make a new version of the introduction screen. Now before I can do this actually I have to look back and say hmm did I even allow that to happen through my library through the properties? So I'm going to go back to my library here in the Flash movie and going to look at the properties of that movie clip and go to advanced and it has to have export for action script checked. All right? That is this introduction class is what I will use to dynamically put it out onto stage. That's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, and so I'm going to just say OK. And you'll get this, if you don't write your own introduction class, it'll tell you we're going to create one for you. That's fine. You can click Don't Show Again if you don't want to see this. And I want to do the same thing for the application um, here as well. Uh, I'm going to right-click on that and go to Properties and make sure that's Export for Action Script is checked as well. All right, and this would also work, you know, if you decide to create your own classes for introduction or application. Um, but I'm going to do it in a way where you don't necessarily need external classes for those. Okay, so now let's work on just getting introduction to show in our show introduction. We want to make a new introduction. So usually when you want to uh, hide and show these screens, it's a good idea to make properties for them. So uh, this is where you put properties up in your main function, and uh, I'm going to call it intro, and I'll type it as introduction. Right. Often I've found um, that with these kind of screens, you really only need um, one instance of them. You don't need to create creating a new one each time. And it's just whether you're showing or hiding. Is we want to um, add it to the stage and add intro to the stage. So add child intro. And we also uh, want to uh, add an event listener for the begin button. So intro dot begin button dot add event listener. So we're going to add a, a mouse event click uh, and a, a click begin. Okay. So we also obviously then need our click begin handler. So let's add that. So e. Oops, didn't spell that right. Mouse event. Void. Trace. Clicked. Begin. All right, so I'm just going to save it uh, like this for now just to, to see if we if we got what we think we're doing. Uh, you know, if we're, if we're there yet. We've written actually a decent amount of code already. So let's uh, let's run this. There's some errors and nothing happening yet. So we're getting a, 
a call to possibly undefined method add child. So the reason we're getting that error here is that if you create your class straight from the action script menu where you do uh, flash, uh, sorry, file new, uh, and you do AS action script 3.0 class, uh, it won't do some one piece that you need, which is when you're creating a document class, it needs to extend the movie clip class. Okay, so there we have, but nothing's showing. And the reason nothing's showing is that this show intro isn't being used. So let's call our show intro and see if we get it out on the stage. And so there we go. There's our introduction. Uh, and right now I have the registration point in the top left, so it's sort of showing in the corner like that. Um, when I click begin, I get my clicked begin uh, here as well. So that's working good so far. So some people find that it's easier to write code and do things when your registration point is in the middle of the movie clip um, if you want to put it on the middle of the stage and so now I'm going to show you some code if it's centered what you can do so let's go back to here and we're going to go into our main.as and in the show intro we can manage placing it right intro x equals stage dot stage width divided by 2 and intro dot y equals stage dot stage height divided by 2. So what I'm doing is setting this these points to half the width and half the height. Okay, so now we have a centered application showing. So the next question is I want to be able to click begin and instead of saying click to begin I want to show the actual uh, begin screen. So um, before we can do that let's go ahead and do our begin movie. So let's uh, add that all to app here and application. Right back in place here. Okay. Um, so let's do that. We have our intro, now we have our app. So we're creating a new app, and now we want to create a show app to test that out. All right, I'm going to comment out show intro for a second because we know that's working. And we're going to add show app. Um, so I'll just do it here just so we can see it a little bit easier. And this really is, this is end function. So this is our private function, show app. And we're just going to right now just do add child app just to see if that uh, works. So there we go. We got the application showing there. Um, and so now what I want to do is uh, just we uh, this one by the way wasn't in the the top left. So, uh, it wasn't centered. So an application the registration point. Oops. Let's pull it out on the screen. Um, isn't centered. It's sort of uh, right there. So one way you can do it is just to move it around, uh, go look at the properties, see what the X and Y are, let's say 33, 35, and you can just set them manually that way too. So that's also another way to do it, um, is to just type, you know, hard code in what you want it, where you want it to be. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get from show intro into um, clicking that button and doing the show app. So we have begin button, add event listener, click begin, click begin here. So what we re really want to do is we want to hide intro and show app. So showing app is not a problem, right? We already we just wrote that function. So that's show app. And so hiding intro um, is a few different uh, ways to do that. So um, the simplest way if you... Um, want to keep it around in, in memory and don't want to get rid of it entirely is just to do remove child intro and so that removes it out of there um, also um, since we're adding our event listener when we're doing a on show intro if we were adding our event listener there we would also want to do something like uh, removing that um, intro begin button dot remove event listener
something like that. Uh, so now let's uh, see how that click begin button works. Oh, whoops, sorry, so we're showing the, got to un do some uncommenting here at the beginning. So uh, show app, we don't want to show at the beginning anymore, we want to just show the intro to start. So this is back in our first function, our main function. So um, that should show, whoops, show intro, oh, I didn't save it, okay. And let's uh, run it again. Ah, we have an error in our main incorrect number of arguments uh, on line 45 expected to um, I forgot to add my the name of my event listener there okay so we're showing the introduction now um, and actually we're showing the app still as well because I left it out on the stage here okay um, so now we should show intro, click begin, and we have our application showing now. Now as part of that, we want to be able to click the X and go back to the beginning in this case. So when we're showing our application, we can uh, app.add event listener close button. and we can write it for that. So so we're adding our event listener for that and it's essentially um, going to do something similar. So in this case we want to hide the app and show intro So we do our show intro function. And obviously, like now that we're seeing that the hiding is, is a few things, you can actually make a separate hiding one. So we have show app, we could have a close app function. And that would have uh, remove child app. sort of doing the reverse as the show. Alright, and so now we can just call those two functions whenever we need it. So I can say uh, hide app instead of having to write that code out. So when I want to hide the app, I write hide app. When I want to show app, I write show app. So it becomes a little bit simpler there too in your code. Um, oops, sorry, I have an error here. <coughs> Line 25. Uh, let's, uh, my close button may not be called that. Let's just double check what the name of my close button is. Uh -huh, I didn't give it a name, so I've got to make sure I have that name. Close button. And so, see, I'm typing too fast and trying to talk at the same time. I mixed up the order of things. It should be app dot close button then dot add event listener and the same thing here for uh, remove event listener this remove event listener should come after the reference to the close button oh I wrote hide app uh, and I wrote close app here too so uh, hide it should be so this you know, this name here was not the same as that one there so these are the kinds of little mistakes that you usually make that you have to get through so there's my application there it is. So now I'm sort of going back and forth between each one of these, showing and hiding my windows. The main things again are you need to, in your um, movie, in your library, have movie clips for each of your screens in their properties. Um, those need to be set so that um, they have the export for action script and they have a class defined. And then that way in your main class you can have um, a property this kind of property for each one of your screens uh, and then you just basically make a show and a hide function for each one that adds into the stage adds any event listeners that you might need and can remove them from the stage and, and remove event listeners as well